What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back in Space Engineers today with a little look at this beauty in front of me. Basically, having done the small mining ship and the mining platform, I thought I should probably complete the full set by having a little look at a large mining ship. So, just briefly, the construction and sort of purpose behind this is obviously you're scaling up your production, small ships aren't doing it, platforms are a little bit unwieldy, you want something that moves around, does the job for you, and has the cargo capacity to really make it worthwhile. Um, so you decided to make yourself a large mining ship and just briefly how I made this was first of all you start off with a big wall of drills obviously. Uh, these are nice on large ships because they straight connect together using the doors on the side so you can just stack them together and then lead off of it like I have with these cargo containers literally directly connected to the drills at the back. Uh, this is the only thing I would probably change if I was to rebuild this ship. Obviously I've had to use heavy armour around the outside because it does get knocked around a fair bit, as do all miners. Um, if I was to make it again, uh, I've heard that sort of separating the drills from the front end of the ship using a, a layer of some sort of block is a pretty good idea. It helps sort of reduce some of the impact you get back onto the rest of the ship. And then this follows through with cargo around nuclear reactor, a bit bigger than it needed to be admittedly but it looks cool, and then into a pair of refineries that I've stuck on their side at the back, idea being that we could have sort of processing going on as this ship is travelling around and more importantly when it comes back and attaches to the base using the connector on the top we also get uh, that refinery capacity added to the base's setup so this can be left attached to the base when it's not out mining. Just do a little walk around inside uh, here again you can sort of get an idea of how it was made so I kind of started off with the straight backbone down the middle of the ship from those uh, initial minor uh, drills and cargo containers so big wall of drills cargo containers attached to it and then I have this single singular backbone that runs down the whole way one block wide along the top and the bottom of the ship and I use this to kind of place things around the sides of it so for example these refineries uh, are, are placed onto the side of that and then held in place by what goes over the top and behind them. And any other thing of note in here other than the glass where you can see the engines in action uh, is I've also included another control panel. This is so that you can, if you wish, go and control the remote welder, which let's have a look. Unlock, there we go. There, I could now go and collect the remote welder and remote control it from inside here to bring it back and repair the ship after it's done a bit of mining. But most important thing, let's show you this puppy in action. So as you can see, pretty much empty. The refinery is just working away on the last of what was left in it from, from last time. So aside from the refineries, all those large cargo containers are empty. And the easiest way I've found to use this is you line yourself up with a rock face, not the most maneuverable ship, but maneuverable enough. It weighs quite a bit. Line yourself up with a rock face like so. Activate the drills, which of course will cause it to move around a little bit. And then we just use the thruster override very, very slowly, which I've got up and down on three and four on my key bindings to just make ourselves move forward. So sticking at three or maybe four, and we slowly push through the rock face. Now there is a little bit of loss from this. You'll see the odd bit dropping away, but in comparison to the amount that we're actually mining out, I don't think it really matters. So let's just jump in here and have a look at what we're picking up. So we've got 41,000, 47,000, 54. Admittedly, this is all stone at the moment because that's the bit we're working through, but we'll get into the iron shortly. One thing I definitely recommend is you build yourself a welding ship if you're going to look at building large ships in future. I have a tutorial up on a micro welder with remote control. Check that out if you're going to give this a go because it's been completely invaluable. So yeah, you can't make them stop the jiggling, unfortunately. They will always move around and jiggle a little bit like this one is where the dampers are trying to sort of fight against the action of the drills moving the ship around. And this is why it will always try and take itself, I'll try and take a little bit of damage around the front end. And the way I've kind of been using this ship, as opposed to sort of just boring straight through asteroids, which I find is what gives you the greatest potential for actually beating the ship up and having to do a lot of repair work on it afterwards, is just going in sort of maybe a little bit deeper than I am now. And then I'll reverse back out, move across and cut another section out of the rock and keep doing so until you've got flat rock faces and then you repeat the process. 
uh, just drop, dropping in here. Can have a look. Okay, so very, very lucrative stone supplies. Unfortunately, stone is not really what we were after, but so be it. We'll get to that iron soon enough. Not really. Anyway, gives you an idea of how this thing mines. So then when we're done, turn off the thrust, turn off the miners, reverse back out the hole. And as you can see, there is a tiny bit of damage has been taken around the top, around the back of those miners, even though I don't think that actually came in contact with anything. It does seem to take a little bit of damage around those corners. So, yeah, once you've been in and done the mining, obviously you drop your cargo back, and then you give her a quick repair using, say, the remote welder. And this thing, as I said, was designed to be operatable by two crew. So you'd have one crew member who could be busy organising the refineries, um, busy repairing the ship if need be, busy scouting out for new ore. We have a uh, little remote control or scout vehicle available back at the base as well. So I'm just going to bring her home and do the last little bit, which is connecting her up with the sensor controlled connector. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Hope you found this vaguely interesting. I certainly enjoyed making the last in the series as far as the mining ships are concerned. It has been a interesting learning procedure and certainly I feel that this is the the most efficient of the lot so far. Obviously it took the most resources to build as well but it's certainly bringing back its own weight in gold as far as resources are concerned. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this was of some use to you. If it was, please remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, really helps me and the channel out, and I will catch you next time.